Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Stone. Um, this is the first of several online tutorials that uh, tutorial videos that I'll be doing to show you the various how to use the various software and online tools that we'll be using this year in science class. This first tutorial is on our textbook. This is a picture of the cover of our textbook, Interactive Science. It is a Pearson publishing product. Um, that the middle schools in Hammond, all the science teachers in Hammond all got together and chose this particular curriculum. Every middle school sixth grader is working from this book. Uh, we're not all necessarily starting in the same place for various reasons, uh, but we are all using this book. When your child receives the hardcover version of this book, uh, if they leave the school and, and transfer to another school in the district, they take their book with them and they will keep their book. They will not be given a new book. They keep their book and they keep it because the, it is theirs and they will be writing in it. So let's have a look and see what's inside this book. Okay, this is chapter one in our book. Chapter one, what is science? Each chapter begins with a big question and we go over the big question and we talk about what we're going to be learning in that particular chapter. So the big question for the first chapter is what does it mean to be a scientist or to think like a scientist? And we talk about, we're going to talk about the sharks and what they're teaching the cage scientists here in this picture and we will do other things that will also look at what it means to be a scientist. Okay, let's continue. The beginning of each chapter has a getting started page where we check your understanding of what you might know about that particular topic and we answer various questions. In your textbook you will be able to write the answers in the book. We also do a lot of vocabulary study where we're learning about word beginnings or prefixes, word endings, suffix, suffixes, etc. and building our vocabulary the same way you build vocabulary in reading or in language, math, or social studies. There's also a chapter preview page where we go over the vocabulary of each lesson. This particular chapter has three lessons in it and talk about what it is we will be learning in that particular chapter. This is the first lesson in this chapter, the skills of science. Each lesson has its own question, its own big question. This particular lesson only has one question. Several of the lessons in the book may have three or four questions that need to be answered. The key concept or the question being asked is tied to the Indiana State Standards and so the standard is listed there on underneath the question. My Planet Diary is a little preview or a lesson where we talk about a particular topic in this one, this particular case, careers, where we're talking about um, marine biologists and what it means, what's, what does a marine biologist do. And in the book, the students will answer the questions. They will write out the answers to the questions. If there's a lab for this particular lesson, it's listed at the bottom and we do the lab that week. There is a certain amount of vocabulary for for each lesson. Some lessons might have one or two words. Other lessons may have as many as 15, 20 words to them. It depends on the lesson. It depends on what we're studying at the time. So the question is asked again, what are the skills of science? And you go through the lesson and read. Anytime you see the key, same way we had the key over here, that is the answer to the question. Anytime you see the key, you're answering the question. On this particular page is in bold, you really can't tell here, but it's in bold writing and it is um, in white on this page because of the black, the dark black background, but in most pages it will be in a dark color so that you can tell it's different from the rest of the print, but that is your answer to this question. Okay? Any words that you see that are um, highlighted in yellow are vocabulary words or glossary terms from the list. 
click and you are able to see the vocabulary term, its definition, and you can hear it. Let's see if I can get you to hear it here. The same information is also available in Spanish. So any term that you uh, need to look up in the book can be found here in the glossary. Any word highlighted in yellow is a vocabulary word and can be looked up. You will notice uh, that there are places where you can write again. Uh, in the book, you are able to write in the book. You're able to draw pictures. Uh, you can scribble in the, in the margins if you want. You leave yourself notes. If you have a question for me and we're busy and, and uh, I don't stop to uh, answer any questions, jot the question down in the, in the um, margin and ask me at a later time and we can make sure that you get the answer to the question. Okay. This is lesson two. I'm going through lesson two because I want to show you how in this one there are three questions. The first one is answered here at the bottom of the page and then the other two are answered elsewhere in the lesson as you get to that particular topic. Also there is an assess your understanding section at the end of each question each concept to make sure you understand how to understand how to apply the concept. Okay, so a question you might have concerning the online book is there's all these places to write but how do you write here in the book? You don't. You don't. There's a second place where you can actually get all this information and you will be able to type in any answers you want to type. We'll talk about that in the next video that I'll be showing you. Okay, so that's a general overview of the book. Uh, there are nine chapters in the book uh, covering earth science, physical science, and uh, life science. We will be starting with earth science this year. Uh, because we have a field trip right at the beginning of the school year and so we will be starting with that particular unit where most of the other schools in the district will be starting with physical science. If you have any questions or you need to watch this again, please feel free to do so or drop me a note or come see me in class. Thank you. Have a good day.